Hello, in this uh, short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record uh, a video using Kultura and how to embed your video on the blog assignment in your NFO course. So first you will need to go to the course, to the NFO course, and then find your week two module, and then look for the blog assignment titled blog record your instructional strategy, record your instructional strategy. So I have it here. Then click on the link to open up the blog, uh, and then click on create blog entry. So type the title for your blog entry, uh, for example, instructional strategy, uh, a menu with different options, and you will need to click on the mashups. Once you click on the mashups, it will open up several options. Click on Cultura Media. And then you will be directed to your Cultura Media Space. This is obviously my Cultura Media Space. This is the space where I uploaded uh, different videos and also I recorded different videos uh, using different Cultura tools. This is where this is the space where I um, keep all my multimedia content. This is my um, space for my multimedia content that I uh, will be using in different courses. So to record a video, you will need to click add uh, on add new. It's a blue, uh, big blue button at the top of your screen right here. And then you will see different Cultura um, uh, tools that are available for you. For this assignment, we will be using Cultura Space Lite. Once you click on Cultura Space Lite, uh, you will need to follow uh, several steps. If you have never used Cultura Space Lite before, it will prompt you to download the recorder. Uh, if you're using PC, then you will click on uh, the Windows option. If you're using Mac, then you will click on the Mac option. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. You just need to do it once, follow through steps, and download the recorder for Cultura Space Lite so that you can uh, record your videos uh, later. So again, you just need to do it once. Once you follow the stops, steps and you downloaded the uh, uh, desktop Cultura Space Recorder, it will show, well in my case, it was actually on my desktop. And, and then I pinned it uh, right here. So it's on my taskbar. So it looks like this, this icon. So I just pinned it there for my convenience, but it also um, um, appears on my desktop as well. Let's click on this icon and then you will see several options to choose from. These are the app options for Cultura Base Lite. You can record a screen, you can record a screen and also use a webcam. So you will have like a little window webcam thing in the corner uh, with, with your video. Uh, or you can just use a webcam or you can just do a video. So for this demonstration, I'm going to click on a webcam and just record um, a very short, just a test video to show you how it looks like. Okay, this is how it looks like. So a webcam, obviously, um, it's a video of me and I'm just doing a very quick test uh, recording. So once I'm done, um, I will need I will click on done. So I'm going to click on the done um, uh, button. And then wait a second of me. Uh, and I'm just doing a very quick test uh, recording. So once I'm done, um, I will need, I will click on done. So I'm going to click on the done um, uh, button. Okay, so that was my uh, quick uh, test video. Again, click on done option right here at the bottom of your, of your screen. And then you can uh, title your video however you want. So let's just say test. So this way I know to delete those test videos later because they're not really actual videos. And then upload. Again, you will just need to wait for a few seconds while it's being uploaded to Cultura. It will take a few seconds um, to do that. So it says your recording integrated webcam test was uploaded and will be available at your Cultura Media Space. Let's just uh, close 
and I will minimize this window and I will go back to um, I will minimize this as well and I will go back to my Cultura media space to get there I will need to again click on mashups and then Cultura media and then eventually that video will show up it actually takes some time um, so meanwhile, um, I will show you how to embed a video on your blog. So I'll just grab um, a video uh, that I recorded earlier because um, the steps are really the same. So let's just say um, I want to embed this video, screen capture 2019, January 31. But again, the steps are the same. So I will need to click on select. And that is basically it. So here I have a video embedded on the blog. One more uh, thing I wanted to show you before you post your blog entry is how to um, embed, um, how to insert a transcript. It's a very good practice to have either captions um, for your videos or to have um, a transcript again for your videos or audio recordings. It's important for students, uh, lots of students uh, like to see uh, captioned videos. Um, Kultura unfortunately doesn't have a very good captioning tool, so captions don't, uh, are not very accurate. It's possible to edit your captions in Kultura and uh, we have a video, uh, we have a tutorial uh, for that, but for this assignment, um, let's just agree to post transcripts. So my transcript for this video that I just recorded uh, is just a Word document. To insert a Word document into this blog post, I will need to click on insert file and then browse my computer and then it will open up my documents and I will need to find that video file with my transcript and then um, submit. Um, well, actually, I'm not going to submit anything because I haven't selected anything, so I will actually click cancel. But um, the document uh, uh, the document with the transcript will appear somewhere here on your blog entry. So you have a video and you have a um, Word document uh, with the transcript. And then, then you're done. And then click on post um, entry. And that's it. Your video recording is posted on the blog for everyone to see and enjoy.